Madonna. Hi, Elizabeth. You look so beautiful. Um, <clears throat> when I was a little girl, I wanted to be as beautiful as Elizabeth Taylor. I wanted to ride horses with my long, lustrous hair trailing behind me. I wanted to swing on a swing set with a velvet dress on. I wanted violet eyes and translucent skin. I wanted a 16-inch waistline. And I wanted Montgomery Clift, Paul Newman, James Dean, and Rock Hudson to put their arms around it. A girl can dream, can't she? I'll never forget watching A Place in the Sun for the first time. I don't know, I must have been about 11 or 12. And there's a scene in this movie where Elizabeth and Montgomery are going to kiss finally and they come together I don't know if they're dancing they put their arms around each other and their lips are barely touching and she looks up into his eyes with this look that that just kills me every time I see it and and seriously every time I see the movie it has the same effect on me um, I, I was so absolutely knocked out by her beauty I don't know what it is. I think it's this, this wondrous light that radiates from her, and it always takes my breath away. Much to my regret, Elizabeth Taylor has stopped making films, but her light continues to shine in a much more wondrous fashion. Without accolades and fanfare, without a movie studio behind her, without the star-making machinery of Hollywood, and without applause. Since 1985, she has worked tirelessly to raise money for AIDS, to raise awareness for AIDS, to enlighten Congress about the need for a needle exchange, to shake up the United Nations about educating third world countries. And so tonight we honor you, Elizabeth, for your courage, for your strength, for your convictions, for your compassion, but most of all, for your inspiration. By sharing your light, you have unconsciously given us permission to do the same. You are the most golden of stars. Happy birthday.